And last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay. So, Malcolm caught a ship headed for... I heard they took him off a corpse cart. <laughs> and he's missing his arms and legs. <laughs> <laughs> At least he can still eat and shit. The White Hill soldiers are drunk again. <laughs> and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. Uh oh, I have to pass through there? Great. Well, I say he's dead. And they've dressed up some peasant in his place. Fill me up, would you? And bring us some salted pork while you're at it. <laughs> Fill yourself up, you lazy fuck. Wine's almost. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. <laughs> Had a run-in with Walder Frey, did ya? <laughs> Should have buried him with the corpses. Forrest is a real Cursed. shame about your leg gives a toss. Idiot. Shut up. How about I spit what on you? Great. Look at this guy. We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> Go round. Get out of my way. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't think you're gonna make me. Oh no. I wonder what's weaker, your legs, or this house? Move! Now! Go on then, my lord. Stairs? Dude, if you fall... <laughs> oh my god. You better not freaking fall. <laughs> oh, thank god. I thought it was gonna make me do some like stupid QTE to get up the stairs. I'm like, man, I'm gonna tumble. It makes us look weak. Both of you, please. So you'd rather they riot? Duncan, you're a damn fool sometimes. It doesn't matter what you think. I was chosen as sentinel. My lords. Roderick. My boy. Come join us. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. I don't need help. <gasps> My Lord. I'm fine. <laughs> it's good. It's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The maester said it would be weeks before you were walking. If you walked again at all. The it was highly probable. I told you he'd be up and about. I'm not here to talk about my elf. Perhaps we should get started. Yes, let's. Dahlia's told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim, my lord. No thanks to your sentinel. He's been getting the White Hill soldiers drunk. It keeps them off their guard. They think you're a bloody fool. My lord, please. Oh, oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay stole I've told you. I was keeping an eye on the Bolton soldiers. You should have been protecting your lord. Now Ethan's dead, and Ryan a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing! 
I am your lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves. Oh, he doesn't? We should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Not anymore. Summon our allies, then. I'm afraid we have none left, my lord. What? We've heard little from the Glovers since the Ironborn took Deepwood Mott. Halsey's Helleva, Grayson, and Brownbarrow were all slaughtered at the Twins, and the rest of our allies are terrified of the Boltons. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the Union. Lady Elena... Because of my face? Because I'm ugly? Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady oh. Elena? Really? She's coming now. She mustn't see me like this. Why is she coming He's here? She's barely recovered. A betrothed is coming to Ironra. Yes, my son. A what? raven arrived this morning. Lady Elena is eager to see you. If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes. Could we, though, really? Could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. Girl, Talking what are you about talk a about? marriage, not an ironwood contract. I'm certain I can convince her. She's always been fond of you. Just be careful not to push Elena too hard. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute. Oh my god. Keep them drunk. It's better than inciting them to violence. Yes, my lord. Dude, if it's no, better to be drunk than to hungry. If they're hungry, they're gonna be tearing Easter. tearing everything it's apart. It's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's got to be back. I mean, keeping them drunk isn't good either, but... At least Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him and Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. I can help you with it. That's all right. The last time you sang, all the dogs in the kennel started howling. <laughs> but thank you. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand That's who it between was. her and Lady Marjorie, but... Maybe your sister can find a way to help. Again? Really? She did squat. I knew I was playing three. I totally forgot about her. So I'm playing four characters now? Ugh. This girl's pointless. <laughs> it's the entirely only... ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. Uh, you are in our thoughts. I hope to visit soon. We will make a large You and the children are ever in our thoughts. Is that a good? lovely sentiment, Mira. And the seal. Here you are. Oh, are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. 
one of my father's favorite drinking companions. I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. I think I'm gonna... What is it, Mira? I'm gonna unite with this kid. It's from my mother. She asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah, Maybe you. <laughs> it's my help she's after, isn't it? She's a bold woman. She means no disrespect. Most would she shy away from influence. asking such things. Forgive my mother. She doesn't see the harm in what she does. Uh oh. She's not entirely wrong. A letter that was from good. <laughs> me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet. You'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. You pushed me before, and you saw the results. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. See, I'm telling you, this girl's pointless, man. I need Tyrion on my side. <laughs> That's the only reason why I like playing as her, is because I get to interact with Tyrion. If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter... She took the seal, girl. Forge a letter to Elena? Girl, don't do it, man. You're gonna get freaking killed. <laughs> you don't have the seal, though. She took it. Don't do it. Don't. Sorry, Roderick. Sir Maynard, you are hereby invited. <gasps> Mira, Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. God, you, why do you have to break Sir in like Maynard. that? God, the damn. man's breath smells like a brew house. I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. A love letter, perhaps? Or a declaration of war. I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. Are you like if my arch mind. enemy now? What about, I'd rather not, go ahead. Go ahead then. Well, it's... We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with them? I've got them. Uh oh. Uh oh, dude, you do not want her off on your on your bad side, girl. You gotta be nice, because this girl's gonna screw you over. New here, but you're in my spot. What? So move. We'll find another spot. Wrong fucking answer. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger and his bloody speeches. If you want to survive in the night's watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? The wall why? was erected over eight thousand years ago. Why? At this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordly. He tried to stick me with this. I stuck it in him instead. So next time I say move, you'd best fucking move. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? 
I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what diacrime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? <laughs> you fuck potatoes? What? No! I stole them. That's what got me sent to the wall. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cutter the potato fucker. There's one for the songs. Oi, my sister was hungry. Oh, I've got something for your sister. Who can talk about my sister, all right? Will you stop arguing? Who in seven hells is talking back there? No one. Double. Who was it? What? Sorry, sir. It was my fault. Covering for your new brothers already, are you? No, it's the truth, idiot. Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you. This guy, dude. <laughs> Frostfinger. I need a word. Mr. Head and Shoulders. <laughs> Go on, get started. Best of luck, Tattle. Sky dude, freaking Arnold. Here we go. Again. Who's up? See those dummies? Those are fed. So I have to do these. Demonstrate your combat skills. So this is home now. Damn right. Shoot. I'm gonna. I'm gonna impress these guys. What was this? Oh, it's bloody cold up here. Hallway. Look at the hallway. Can't wander off now. Not a frost finger watching. You weren't going anywhere, dude. You were just looking, punk. <clears throat> All right. Well, let's do this first, I guess. Is this the strength one? Lift barrel? You there, recruit. Scrawny, aren't you? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the witch. No. Right. I can do this. Oh god. Freaking QTEs are gonna be the end of me, dude. Seriously. <laughs> Bro, you could do it. <laughs> oh my god, dude, seriously. <laughs> Hell nah. Punk. Don't hurt yourself, Tuttle. Gotta be faster. You can pay for that. Idiot. I'm thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. If the thing hasn't frozen off. Fuck off, Finn. Bloody ass. 
Mind your language, Garrett. <laughs> the face he makes. Practice dummies, sword rack. Okay, logs. It's not iron wood. Too hard to burn. They say it's 700 feet tall and 8,000 years old. I'm gonna do the archery next. You're doing that all wrong. But we don't have these where I can... <laughs> Really? Dude, seriously. Will shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. Oh. Ooh, damn. <laughs> Could I have shot my foot off too? Alright. Let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's arse. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Okay. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. Okay. Center of chest. Boom! You can follow orders at least. Next bolt. Left target. Head. Good. Right target. Chest. Where's my little trigger? Not bad. Center. Between the eyes. Really? That was way off the mark. Really? Well, you're not a bad marksman. Well, I completed it. Okay. It's all good. <laughs> he's all... Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him, ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. Swiped it right off him. Dude, don't seriously, he's gonna blame us. He's gonna. I don't think he'd take it kindly. Give it back to him, Cotter. Are you mad? That's the last thing I'll do. Oh, he's gonna totally blame it on me, dude. <sighs> A horsey. The moment of truth. Take that! Take that! Oh, oh. Watch your bloody top. You grab a practice sword. Can I pick? Ooh. Um, I'll take this black one. This one should do. I'll be sparring with you today. Okay. Oh my god. Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Come on. Good luck. I'm ready. Come on, keep at it. Come on. Four. Get off me, you bloody ox. God, I hate QTEs. You got lucky. I get so stressful. <sighs> that was stressful, dude. <laughs> You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A 
crossbow is a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... <gasps> Where is it? Oh, no. Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. I'm not saying anything. Come to think of it, you were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and... It was you. What? You little fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. Give me my knife. I don't have it, I swear. Hey, don't get back at me. My way. Dude, just stop. Got it. do something. Just calm down. Fight it. Oh! Hell nah. Punk. I won't say it again. Step the fuck aside. If you ever hit me again. Uh oh. Hey, look. Fight! Fight! Yeah, get it! Here they go again. <laughs> oh, shoot. Punk? Didn't. Oh, he's gonna go I cry now. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. You must have hid it. <laughs> oh my and god. You, <gasps> I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger, I need another man atop the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! Dude, what happened to the knife? Mind your fucking <laughs> You, come with me. Dude, that guy better not have put the knife on me. Idiot. I thought he planted the knife on me, man. I was about to slit his throat. <laughs> I get to talk to Jon Snow. This way. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Are you Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie. You're right. It's beautiful here. I've got to be nice to this girl, dude. Just through here. What are you doing? You'll see. Oh, Jesus. Queen Cersei's finest wine. Are you kidding me? Come on, sit down. You're going to get us both in trouble. Relax. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. A little won't hurt. It's just wine. No! <sighs> Suit yourself. Gonna then. get freaking drunk? You think they're not gonna know? Idiot. So, I, uh... This girl, dude. <laughs> well, I just... I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I want to trust you. I swear, I won't tell a soul. What did you do? My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She became pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. 
I'm fortunate to be where I am, I know that. But to always have to hide. What of your father? Who is he? I don't know. My mother died not long after my birth. Who else knows about this? Lady Marjorie. She does? Her grandmother. And now you. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. Have you asked her? What can I do? A family of my own. you wish to marry? Have you tried asking Lady Marjorie? It's not something I can simply ask for. I need her favor first. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe... <sighs> Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might suggest she talk to me instead. Really? Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. Of course, Sarah. Thank you, Mira. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Here I am talking about myself. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother and your father. <laughs> Are you sure you won't have any? No. You look like you could use a drink. <gasps> hmm. A conspiracy of handmaidens. <laughs> lord Tyrion, my lord. Do you want to drink with Please? us? <laughs> what have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon... You're going about it the wrong way. Care to join us, Lord Tyrion? Hmm. <laughs> Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. I didn't take it. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't get it. I took it, you. Sarah she took it, we found it. Me. Though that's hardly surprising. We... we found it in that bush. Lord Tyrion. Strange it should find its way into a bush. <laughs> if Cersei knew you had this wine, she'd drown you in it. You must know what risks are worth taking. Especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most really? of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the Ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man. But judging by his up-jumped sellswords, negotiating with him won't be pleasant. I will speak for House Forrester. Perhaps you could. Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a Forrester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. <laughs> Dude, I love Tyrion. My lady. <laughs> this girl, dude. Oh, I'm gonna push her off the damn balcony. <laughs> Freaking drunk. <laughs> Kneel and kiss my shiny ring. Just do it, Roderick. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Please. It means nothing. And we'll get to see Ryan again. Go on. 